sometimes you need a media pass in order to take the photos. Yeah. yeah. This, I muggled my camera <laughs> and then I. I Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. Uh, here again, uh, another episode of Storytime. So today I have a, an awesome guest uh, who's not just a photographer, he's also a musician. Uh, I met him at one of his shows. Uh, I didn't know that he's a photographer but turns out he's a great photographer so I know I have to have him on the show as well. So help me welcome uh, Akmal. All right. So, Akmal, hey, nice uh, introduce uh, yourself a bit, man. Hey, uh, hi, I'm Akmal. I was born and raised in KL, uh, in Johor. Uh, before I moved to KL, I was studying in the States for five years, uh, including one year of work. That was where I found my passion in photography. And when I came back, um, I decided to continue my passion in photography and also uh, to pursue my passion in music. Okay. So right now, I am a full-time entrepreneur and I also do music and photography inside. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you want to know about his band, you guys can check it out, Armbang Syndicate. Uh, I leave the link down below. You go. You guys can check them out. They're awesome. So yeah. So of course today we're gonna to talk about photography. So um, again, before that, uh, yeah, I would like to thank you, Akmal, again for doing this. It was such a short notice. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really honored. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So um, you wanna go first or? Uh, why don't Why don't you? Uh this whole, whole thing so that I know um, what's, what's in, the, in your plan. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is very simple. We're just going to um, show a, a photos and we're just going to share a story of behind that photos. Uh, so, and oh, then, okay. uh, yeah, so we just, you know, uh, go back and forth. Uh, so, okay, sounds yeah. Good, sounds good. So, I think uh, just to give you an idea, I think uh, I'll go first and then you can uh, go ahead. Okay, okay. Alright. So, uh, yeah. So, the first photo that I want to show you guys is this photo right here. Alright. It's a photo of a music video behind the scene in a, in a green screen studio that I used to work for. Um, the fun thing about this, uh, so this photo right here is a behind the scene photo. Uh, it's before the, the CGI was added in. So, it, when you see the acting before the CGI adds in, it looks very weird. So, but once you see after all the CGI, after, after all the editing done, uh, it turns out great. And this is one of the most memorable moment that I have uh, working in a behind the scene of a music video. Because we have uh, a cat as a talent in that music video. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very cute cat. Uh, can't remember what's the singer's name. Damn it. Uh, but yeah, if I find it, I, you know, I'll just throw the link down below. You guys can check it out. Uh, so yeah, the the fun thing about that music video was uh, the struggle us as crew trying to get the cat to stay still <laughs> during the during the shoot. So every time the director says cut, the cat will just run back into his cage because he was so not used to seeing like so many people in one spot. So throughout the whole day, it's kind of like uh, so that was also was my first experience working with animals. So it's kind of like so cute the cat. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it was it was a fun music video as well. You know, it's a very cheesy music video as well. So yeah, as, you know, if I can remember what's the name of the song, uh, I'll I'll just throw in the the link down below. You guys can check it out. So yeah, that is my first photo. Uh, Okay, come on. What about you? Cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> I, I love cats, so. Um, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you're doing like. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can tell, man. I remember you, you yourself have a few helpers around there as well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. Three of them. So. Oh, three. Okay. Three, yeah, man. As much as I love cats, I cannot. And then the next day, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're all messy again. So. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, as much as I love cats, um, apparently I'm allergic to it, so I cannot have them. So, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so uh, sometimes I just don't care, you know, I just like 
rub my face and then I'll regret it later. Lah. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's move on. Uh, next photo from Atma. Let's see. All right, all right. Um, so I have this uh, photo of um, Zaki Vengeance of oh, Avengers. That's so cool. Yeah, so um, fun fact, I was never a an Avengers Sevenfold fan uh -huh. until I went eight because I think um, I, I I grew up among like 80s rock and roll music right, right. Like Guns N' Roses, ACDC, uh -huh. Aerosmith, uh, Motley Crue and things like that right, right. All so the when yeah um, so it, it was already hard for me to uh, connect with my friends who were uh -huh. at the time listening to uh, Jonas Brothers, Bruno Mars, like all the pop radio, you know? Yeah, 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 uh, I get Lady that. Gaga and all of that. So I, that was already hard enough. But then when I meet like um, uh, a rock music fan, like I, I ask him like, hey, like, you like rock music? Like, who do you listen to? Is it uh, Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin, uh -huh. Black Sabbath? And they're like, oh man, I listen to a uh, black metal. I'm like, holy shit, okay. Uh, what do you listen to? Uh, Avenged Sevenfold. I'm like, wait, isn't that like some emo band trying to <laughs> sound happy or some shit? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah back then I, I didn't know, you know, because uh -huh. I, before I fell in love with uh, rock and roll, I really love uh, alternative rock and also uh, pop punk music. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, like, then some people had the aesthetic of the of the pop punk bands or like mm -hmm. you know like like they were singing with good charlotte and things but then their music is like all this screaming and heavy stuff so i'm like it's a bunch of weirdos <laughs> me. who the hell are these guys right, like, right. why are there so many people like Avenged Sevenfold? Mm -hmm. you know? So me being like i want to be different from other people right. i hated Avenged Sevenfold. Um, until like the, the Nightmare album came out and then oh, yeah. the French uh, So Far Away, uh, Welcome to the Family oh, yeah, that's, and I was like, it's a yeah, great album, these man. are so good man, um, yeah. but I was still not a fan. Yeah. Like, I, I like those songs but just that. Um, until I went to the States, when I went to the States and then my friend uh, introduced me to uh, Avenged Sevenfold and then I was like, shit, I need to listen to more of them man. And I listened to the, the, the self-titled album, I listened to, um, I, I fell in love with Dear God, and, uh, yeah. and then, you know, like, the, the, the usual stuff, you know, and I was like, oh my god, they're so good, man, I, I love their music, and then, um, I was, I was, I was just like, I think that was in 2015, hmm. I just went on Google and find, like, do they have any concerts? And then I saw it bam, like the summer they are headlining Oof. in my state. So I was like, okay, let's go, let's go. I really want to go. Um, I think it was on Rayu Tiga, you know, Third uh -huh. Day of Rayu. Right, right. So I went, I went, um, I brought my DSLR. Okay. I brought my DSLR. I just wanted to make sure because sometimes like in concerts, you need to have the media pass. Right, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. So I bought the kit. Past, like I, I was standing in front and then I I took out my, my camera, I smuggled it in and then I took like, some few shots like they were like they turned out to be really good shots, you know? Yeah. yeah. And after that They're awesome. I I think the next year or the next two years I went to another uh Red Sun Hall show. Right, right. And then that time I, I really like made sure that I took like really good photos. So this was uh, one of them. Oh yeah, yeah, that is. From the second second uh, show that I went, and then I really liked how the the, the fire is behind the bench. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, that was like yeah, talk about perfect timing though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And, awesome. And, yeah, you you were talking about the uh, shooting your your, uh, your the chat, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of similarity when it comes to action photography, mm, in this case, uh, concert photography, because you need to capture like the, the perfect moment, you yeah, know, like yeah. some, they do like the, all the crazy shit, they point at you, yeah, yeah. they, you know, like they do uh, 
the signature trademark uh, yeah. move to send that, that. And, and I don't have a really good camera of mine, it's just like three level. Mm -hmm. So, like, you really need to anticipate and make sure that it's, it's not blurry. It's yeah, blurry. you just gotta get ready your hands on the trigger to just... Exactly. So, um, so yeah, uh, I was really happy. Um, and then I had a meet and greet with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. That was my name. Yeah, that was my third uh, show, third uh -huh. Avenged Sevenfold show. And so, prior to the meet and greet, I, I printed all these uh, pictures and then I, I framed it, I brought it to them. And I'm like, this is for you guys. Like, um, I, I know like, sometimes you need a um, media pass in order to take the photos. Yeah, yeah. This, I smuggled my camera <laughs> and then I, I took all these photos. Yeah. And then uh, Shadows, the shadows, the the vocalist, just like gave me a fist bump, like shit. Man, oh, that's, that is so cool. That's it, bro. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that was a dream, man. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, so that was that was the story behind yeah, my uh, the first picture I've taken. Oh, that's so cool. You know, uh, okay, talk about Event Sevenfold. Okay, I was a huge, I'm a huge fan of Event Sevenfold. Uh, back when I was in, in high school, you know, I remember, um, yeah, back then I listened to a lot of all these emo bands. So, yeah. I mean, of course, we all been through the emo phase and all that. So, <laughs> so my chemical romance was one of it. And then, um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of my chemical romance. And uh, one day I was going through YouTube and YouTube recommend uh, Avenged Sevenfold. And it was Little Piece of Heaven. And I was like, okay, this looks interesting so I, I give it a try I was like holy shit they're good so I keep on finding more of their music and I found Nightmare, Afterlife and all this uh, I said one of my favorite of all time is Critical Acclaim uh, uh. yeah it is one of my favorite uh, song from them so uh, I was like shit they're so good and then a few years passed uh, Events Info came to Malaysia right yeah, yeah. yeah so I really wanted to go but then I was stuck at family gathering, so I cannot go. I was like, oh, the, 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 <laughs> the pain is like, oh, they're so close yet, so far, I couldn't go. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, from there, I, I was thinking, uh, that time, I never thought of seeing myself as a photographer as well. But then, uh, I said, uh, I think a few years down the road, I said to, uh, I the first uh, show that I shoot was with, uh, classmates. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, was with classmates and then uh, they like my photos. So whenever classmates have a show, I'll be there. And of course, I take the opportunity to take photos of other bands and uh, as well. So from there, it's like, okay, my journey as a so-called concert photographer, uh, it's like, you know, I said, okay, I want to be a concert photographer. So probably this way I could you know, go to more shows and get backstage pass or media pass or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah so Avenged yeah. Sevenfold, um, definitely one of the band that I still want to go. So I still want to see them, but you know, I haven't got a chance yet, but you know, maybe one day. <laughs> okay bro, next time, next time if they are in town, like let's go together. Oh, definitely bro. Definitely. Alright. Let's uh, move on to the next photo. Is this one. This is uh, a landscape photo. Right? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. nice. This photo right here uh, was during the, the early uh, pandemic last year. So, okay. yeah. So, I took that time. Uh, okay, because we, as a photographer, you're so used to go out, take photos and everything. And then when lockdown happened, you cannot go out and, you know, take photos so uh, somehow I managed to sneak out go to KLCC and uh, I took a picture inside of empty train and KLCC park that time was so empty and I was like okay I took a few photos and everything and then um, I decided to go to uh, surprisingly that time Kinokunia was open so that photo was taken inside Kinokunia yeah, so, uh, so after I took photo, a uh, few photos, I said, okay, it starts to get hot, I need to go inside. So I go inside, yeah. Kinokunia was open, I was like, I just want to go in and see some books. And then I saw this like small window at one of the sections, I see this small window, I look out, and then I said, like, okay, this is a nice angle. So I took out my camera, 
like sneak in because of course I cannot take out my camera inside Kinokuniya so I have to like sneak in and look around so okay take a quick snap it's like holy shit this looks cool so yeah so it's like okay and I quickly keep my camera and I just leave so when I got home I get to see the the picture like on my monitor it's like you know what it's like, I don't have to edit much on this photo because it was so perfect so it's like so today that photo is one of my favorite photos that I've took so I had a plan to, to print it out and then just to put it in a frame it's like hanging somewhere in my room somewhere. <laughs> because the yeah, because the part was empty and it looks and the white and the, the angle from that I took from that small mirror I mean small window from Kinokunya is just perfect I get to see the building the park everything yeah, this, the KLCC park, right? When else will it be empty? Exactly. Know? So usually yeah. it's always full of people. So it's it's a rare sight to see that the KLCC park is empty. So it's like, okay, I have to take this photo. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, there is a few uh, photos that I managed to took uh, during the, the the you know the pandemic. Uh, one of it was I already showed it last week. Uh, it's a picture of me sitting on a floor of the train. Like the train was oh, completely okay. empty, so I went all the way to the back and I sit on the floor right in the middle. I just took a photo of it. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, uh, it's like one of those like very rare photos to to see you during like uh, it's like normal days. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Like the pandemic, for better or worse, right? It's at least the early part of it. Like, yeah. It really made people more creative, you know. Yeah, yeah. But now. Like, yeah, people are so used to it. Like, yeah. There's no more like being <laughs> friends or like, like TikTok. Exactly. People are like, okay, they already spent all their creativity on the, the on the first uh, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So now the lockdown now is like, okay, what to do something new. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. There's this new lockdown. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope, let's hope it ends. Possible. Yeah, I, I really hope because I really want so to go. <laughs> exactly, I just want to go out and do stuff again, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Exactly. So yeah, all right. Uh, next photo from you. Next photo, right? Um, yeah. This is uh, the band Trivium. Oh, Trivium! That's so cool. Yep. Yeah. So Trivium was uh, was in my town close to my campus so I just um, I just went there uh, this one was a legit uh, work you know mm -hmm. like uh, I was I was uh, a photojournalist oh, okay. for, for a newspaper um, press okay that's cool so I, this one was was legit like I got the media pass I got um, so basically you know, the fun thing about Media Pass is that you don't have to, like, you, you pick the concerts that you like, you go for free, uh -huh. and then you don't have to go early for the best spots, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. You don't, to, you don't have to stay in line or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and I tell you what, my life as a uh, concert photographer, man, I felt like a king, bro, because... You have the pass, you have the camera, yeah. you raise it up, you walk anywhere, people will feel like shit, this guy is a good shot, man. But I have to walk. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you come back, and then, boom, you are in the front line, really. Shit, man. Take picture, take picture, and then you enjoy, oh my god, it's so fun. So, um, yeah, Tribune is one of the earlier events that I that I photographed as, as a photojournalist. Nice, nice. So, that was that was really cool man. It was it was a really nice uh, it was a really nice concert. Uh, do, you, do you follow uh, do you listen to Trivium? Oh uh, yeah yeah, I have a few of their songs. Yeah yeah, I listen to yeah. some of their songs, yeah. So, so this was the uh, during the album uh, until the world goes cold. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah, I know the song. Until the world turns cold, it's a cold Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was the white color, and I I don't really listen to that album. Uh -huh. like, yeah, you know, like the the, the snow songs. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Um, but man, they were they were so good, man. Yeah, yeah. Finally, yeah, I remember the set list, right? Uh huh. The set list on 
the, the flaw of each musician. I remember I saw the set list. They change one word of every song to bro. Damn. So, yeah, so it's like, um, you, you know the, the famous song In Waves? Ah, uh-huh, yeah. In Waves, uh, yeah, they wrote it in bros. Damn. And then, uh, <laughs> Yeah, pull harder on your strings of martyr is like pull harder on your rows of martyr or something. It's like, so cool, bro. So, so, yeah, that was, that was cool, man. One, one, um, one regret that I had uh-huh. was they were selling meat and wheat. Okay. But it was eighty dollars. Uh huh. It was not just eighty dollars. You know, you have to buy a merch. And then you have to pay eighty dollars for the week. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Ninety nine percent of the time, usually I, no second thought, I will buy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, even though I don't, I don't use their merch, so I will just want to buy it to meet and greet. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that one time, I, I was like, I talked to myself and I'm like, uh, it's not worth it. Yeah. And I left. And then after that, I was like, so like I. I regretted that then. Yeah, the regrets always come later on. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So after that, like, whenever, even though if I don't have money or anything, yeah. all that I have is that 80, 80 bucks, uh, I'll just be like, you know what? I'll just, I don't care. You know, it's like once in a lifetime yeah, yeah, experience. Yeah. I don't care. Who's going to do it? So, yeah. Yeah, that's but so I, cool. All in all, it was, it was a really good experience. I love trivia, so when I saw like them in front of me, I was like, "Shit, man!" It's crazy. Like, there's always like with all the bands that I've seen, mm. the beat is always the same, man. Like before, before the concert, it's like, "Oh my god!" Like I, I see them um, on YouTube for so many years already. You yeah. Know, they came out from backstage, right? I was like. This is bloody cool, but when they came out, they are just humans. Like, it's okay, like, because we're so used to seeing, seeing them like but, on our screen, yeah. but when it comes to like face to face in real life, it's just so the 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 feeling is so different. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, I've seen you somewhere, but it's not like something crazy, you know. It's yeah. not like because because back in the days, you don't have YouTube, you don't have you know, so so yeah. you only hear the music and then you see them. That's why like. People go crazy over the Beatles. Yeah, like, yeah, true. Them, but, but nowadays it's like, yeah, I've seen the concert before. It's just like, but 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 it's cool, you know. The feeling is cool. Because yeah. It's like I've been seeing you guys for like the, the past ten years, and then I finally see you guys right in front. Of me. Exactly. It's like, oh, and it's so cool. Yeah, it, it's, it's the feeling is very different. Um, I remember like a few years ago, I I went to. Uh, I was still a kid. I managed to go to Evanescence concert oh, uh, nice. when they were in uh, when they were in Malaysia. So uh, okay, I, I'm a huge fanboy when it comes to uh, Amy Lee. Okay, till this very day, when it comes to Amy Lee, I'm I'm fanboying so hard. So when when I went to to their concert when I was a kid, I managed to follow uh, some friends. Uh, we go there. Uh, you know, he has his uh, parents to bring us in, and it was. It was so different because I'm so used to see Emily on the screen. Now I get to see her there singing live. Like the the level of fanboy is just uh, <laughs> yeah, even more. Yeah. So uh, it's crazy that the experience seeing like uh like the 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 artists that you you admire seeing live is just so different. Yeah. yeah. So so like um like being a uh, concert photography also like. It's, it's different, you know, like being an actual concert photographer at an actual concert and as a photographer at a small geek is very different as well. Because like, yeah, yeah. Uh, on a, uh, like a real concert, you have like the gap between the stage, you have the pit and the crowd. Yeah. Yes. Like the gig, you a photographer had to blend in with the crowd. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. So um, I think it was last year, I, I followed uh, the band uh, Black and Blues. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. I followed them to JB. They have this show in JB. So I followed them. And uh, the stage and the crowd, of course, there's no gap in between because it's just a small gig. Uh, there, there was a mosh pit happening behind me. 
So yeah, yeah. one of the guy, I think I I can't tell who because there's so many people. One of the guy hit me, I accidentally bumped into me. I dropped my camera and I broke my lens. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, man, I was like, shit, I broke my lens. Like it was a it was a fifty mil lens. So I was like, oh. shit. So luckily I have like a, a so an extra lens in my bag. So I was like. And then when I turn around, of course I cannot tell who it was because you know there was mosh pit behind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, I need to like hold my camera. I need to go through the mosh pit to get to the backstage, uh, where the dressing room is. It's like shit, man. And then I, I wouldn't worry about uh, too much about the lens. I was more worried about the body. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I have an extra lens, but I don't have an extra body. So it's like, okay, the body is fine. So it's fine. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, yeah, that was my nightmare. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think uh, there's, there's, there's always the pros and cons with doing uh, concert and gig photography. Yeah, yeah. One is that the difference of the crowd, you know? Yeah. But I think it's, it's also fun, like, it's it's a different kind of fun. Because mm. if you are in the chaos itself, yeah, yeah. it always depends on the artist. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when I, when I go shoot um, these. Uh, uh, bands, they, the manager or like the crew will always come to me and then they be like, okay, uh, you can only shoot the first three songs and no flash photography. That is mm. always the, 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 the rule, you know. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the bands, like, they don't really care, you know. Mm. They, they just want photos. Mm, yeah. So, you'll be like, yeah, use all the flash you want. You just like, just give me some photos. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, yeah, and, and I also like working with that, you know, because you get to experience, um, like, sometimes they let you be on stage, like, they come on stage and then just stay, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, just be um, comfortable and, and, like, just use whatever mm -hmm. flash that you want, um, and then they give you, like, so many privileges, like, sometimes they, they told me, like, hey, I, I'm nearby in this town, like, come over, I, I get you a free pass. So, yeah, yeah. and now I'm still friend of one of the one of the band members uh -huh. um, so it is just super cool man because you never know like one day you you shoot these guys and then one day they they, they explode they become so big yeah yeah and yeah you, you would be really thankful man well, one time i was hanging hanging out with these guys like backstage yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. School, you know yeah but then with big bands it's it's always um, yeah, it's always the you know you have you have the, the safety you have you have the super cool lighting yeah and yeah that. so yeah it's it's always um, interesting yeah you know it's also like one of my so I always like wanted to to shoot for like a huge concert you know so yeah but uh, I think it was like a few years ago I think it was like two years ago um elham from from classmate told me that um he got me in to bittersweet's concert so he wants me to go there and do some you know uh media coverage take photos and videos uh i was like oh I'm so hyped you know i get to see bittersweet i get to take their photos and everything but then uh so literally like a few weeks later pandemic happened i was like ah oh, oh my oh, God. shit <laughs> I was already I was already high. You know, at that time I was I was already uh prepared to buy a new camera to upgrade. And then uh so I already called the, the, the shop so, okay can you reserve one unit for me and I'll come yeah, over yeah, and yeah. get it. I, I was already prepared the money and everything. And then when the pandemic happens I was like, ah shit, I cannot buy the camera because I won't be using it. So uh it, it was <laughs> So, yeah. but, but they, they, they were okay with that? The shop was okay with that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I told the, the, the camera shop, I was like, uh, yeah man, we, we understand. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, crazy man, yeah, so I really hope this would blow off uh, so as soon as possible because I just want to go out and do stuff again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, alright. Yeah, uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay, last photo from me is this one right here. It's a wedding venue. Uh, this wedding venue is in Sepute. Uh, I think it's called the Glass House something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think I've been there. Yeah, it's in Sepute. Uh, okay. I don't shoot weddings. 
Okay, I, 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 I don't shoot weddings. Like, a lot of people ask me if I shoot weddings. I said no. But I do have a friend who does. Uh, his name is Ridaus. Um, uh, that time, he wanted to do a, a, view, uh, a vlog behind the scene of him shooting a wedding. So, I followed him. So, at that time, I was like, okay, lah, might as well I learn something about wedding photography. So, during that time, this is about, okay, if I'm not mistaken, to rent the, the space alone, not include the decoration, to rent the space alone is about 10k. The space alone, not including the, the decor that you see as well. The decor is another thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. When, when, when I went there, um, that time, it was like people, uh, they just literally just finish up uh, the decor before the, peop uh, the guest starts coming in. So, I just stood there. This one was taken with my phone. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just stand there, use the wide angle lens on my phone and just took so I can see everything. So, okay, it turns out to be yeah. nice. So, yeah, uh, yeah so throughout uh, that night, I, you know, I just took some wedding photos. So that time was my only wedding uh, photography experience that I have. So, uh, yeah, it, it was a fun night, you know, so, I, uh, so the, 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 the people that got married, uh, you know, they have a title, so of course they can afford that kind of place. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, my friend Fidel's here, uh, he, uh, he's a great wedding photographer. So whenever like there's a people ask me if I do wedding, I say no, I just forward them to him. So, uh, yeah, he, he tell me like, okay, uh, this place is this, if you want to shoot like this, this, this. He, uh, you know, that night alone, I learned a lot about uh, wedding photography, you know, even though I don't do wedding photography, but yeah, I mean, it's not that I don't want to do, it's just that in Malaysia, we already have way too many already, almost every photographer that I know does wedding <laughs> photography, yeah. yeah, like yeah, I have yeah. a friend, uh, Fidel's that does wedding, I, I even have a cousin uh, that is a photographer that she's doing a, a wedding photography as well. So I don't think okay. a fam my family needs another one. <laughs> one is enough. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, she she based in Johor as well. So uh, there's like a lot of people did ask me why I don't do wedding. I just tell them the same answer. It's like, bro, you just Google wedding photographer. There's shit tons of it. <laughs> just choose yeah. which one you want. <laughs> so yeah, uh, because like there's a lot of other industry in Malaysia that needs photography service. So. Right. Yeah, so that's why I, I don't do weddings personally. You know, I got nothing against wedding photography because wedding photography also is very challenging. You need to know interior photography, fashion, portraits, a lot of things like a lot of genre right, going. Right, right. Yeah, so uh, to be honest, I have huge respect for for wedding photographers, but I personally not doing it because we already have so many. You know. So yeah, sure, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. night was that night was was nice, you know. Like this, this is one of the picture that, uh, that really kind of like uh reminds me of like, okay, I learned, I never thought of doing uh wedding photography, but yeah, it, it was a fun, it was a fun night as well. It was a fun night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then when when I hear the the price of that place, it just blew my mind. Like, Shit, ten k without the decor. Oh my god. It's crazy. Yeah, that, like, it's like 10k. Yeah, it's like 10k and then with the de just for the space alone and then you have yeah. catering, you have guests, you have like all these people like, yeah, I, I don't even want to know how much they spend that night. <laughs> and yeah. photographers for that night, uh, we're not the only photographer. I think there's about three or four photographers that night. Wow. Yeah, including myself. So it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it's crazy. It, it was a huge night and also the place was so beautiful. So yeah. Oh, oh cool, man. <laughs> After this chat, you, you, you share me all the, all the photos from that night. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I, can. I, I want to check it out. Yeah, yeah I can send you uh, some of it. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> all right. All right. So. It's curious, man, the way you said it. Like, oh my god, I really want to see this place. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I still have, yeah, yeah, I have a few, uh, yeah, but that night also, I actually, uh, experienced using Fujifilm, because that night, uh, my friend, uh, my friend used Fujifilm, uh, he have two bodies, uh, it was the X20 and the X-H1, so, uh, he was using the X-H1, and then he told me, it's like, uh, I wanted to use my Canon, and I said, uh, I mean, I just, uh, use my camera, lah, 
you know, it's like, okay lah, I, I always wanted to try uh, Fujifilm. So that night, uh, after that night, I was like, okay, in my brain already, some part of me is like, bro, we switch system lah. <laughs> because the photo was so good. The photos for, from Fujifilm was so good. Especially they have this uh, built-in uh, set. Uh, cinema, uh, it, it's like uh, you can apply uh, LUTs directly in the in the camera. Oh. Yeah. So it's, like, it, it, it's pretty cool. So it's like, okay, actually yeah. till now it's like, okay, maybe I can get one at uh, Fujifilm just for, you know, collection. <laughs> it'd, be, yeah. it'd be an expensive collection, but okay. <laughs> Uh, photography is an expensive hobby, man. If you are not making money off of it, very, very expensive. So yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, the final photo from your side. Okay, right. last picture. Huh? My last um, concert photography. All oh, right, uh, from Metallica. Yeah. That's Metallica, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, that was in that was my final yeah concert photography in the states. Okay. Um, twenty eighteen September. Oh, okay. That was Metallica. So that was a uh, yeah. I was. That was the reason why I stayed in the U.S. until uh -huh. September twenty eighteen. You know. Okay. I mean, I could have left like much earlier. Uh -huh. Like my life there was bad. I, I couldn't I couldn't land a, a stable job in the states. I was struggling financially. Everything everything was bad. That was that was the worst year of my life. Right. But my dad was like, hey, you know, just come back. You know, just come back. Mm -hmm. You know, like we have a family here and stuff. Then I told him like, no, I I, I really have this 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 job coming up in, in September. You know? Right, right. And I was not sure if I was getting the part. Okay. So that, that was that was pretty pretty crazy. Um, so the 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 full story was the year before. Um, I I was gonna go buy 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 Metallica tickets uh -huh. because it was at it was going to go to my campus. Okay. Um, they were yeah they were gonna play at my uh, my campus's uh, ice hockey and basketball stadium. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, so um, I was I was with like I remember like nowadays people were talking about like registering for AstraZeneca yeah yeah um, vaccine yeah, yeah. And then you have like so many computers and all right right yeah that was only for America <laughs> so I had like two iMacs at the at the computer lab and then I I had my MacBook and all of it was I was waiting you know I was waiting countdown I, I was one hour earlier. Countdown, and then finally when it reached the clock reached zero, right? I click buy ticket. Sold out. Shit. Sold out. Bro. So fucking fast. No tickets available, and I'm like, you kidding me, man? You kidding me? That is so like, fast, way. <laughs> you know, like no tickets at all. Um, and of course. Because they always have the, the, the member pre-sale, you know, and I was not a member. I was yeah, not yeah. So I didn't know about that. I'm like, wow, like, okay, like, yeah. So, so I was like, the only way is for me to get a PM. So I was, I was asking, um, I pretended to be still a student because uh -huh. I, I reached out to the campus, uh, to my university's music uh, magazine. Right, right. So, yeah, I, I use my I use my university email and I send them a, an email and I said, yeah, I used to work for you guys and I used to shoot all this. Can I get a pass for this for Metallica? Uh, I'm like oh, early on already. I said this is way too early. This is like next year in September, but I need to get a confirmation. Wait, this um, was like a year before the actual concert. I don't remember if it's a year before or it's early 2018. Uh -huh. But in January and then in September was with the concert. Shit. So I was like, yeah, maybe I think it was, it was a year before. Mm -hmm. So um, so I'm like, okay, I know this is like way too early, but I'm just going to choke my name. Yeah, yeah. 
then finally, uh, they confirmed with me the pass, and I was like, oh, thank God, confirmed. And, and then, um, yeah, so it, it was it was so crazy, man. It was, um, I, I got to know that for the first time, Metallica, they don't allow photographers to be a pit. Okay. You can only be at the, where the sound board, the sound engineer, the sound guys are. Right, right. Which is way too far, you know? So yeah. Anything you need um, to, to capture, like, super close, as usual, maybe you need uh, 200 or 400. Yeah, you need a very long tally lens from there. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't know that. Uh. So I thought, um, I thought at 100... 60 or 200, I don't remember, maybe like 200 was, uh-huh. was what I had. Yeah. Um, but even then, it was, it was not close enough. Right. So I was like, shoot man, the lighting was bad, my, my, because my camera body, like, bad lighting, and it's like, oh my god, like, this was a waste of time, man. All of us were just like, standing like, at the back, you know, yeah. where nobody was like, so... I took like all the nice pictures, like all that I can, you know. And I'm like, okay, screw this. I think it's going to be black and white. Mm. But then when I saw Lars was doing that, and then I took a picture. Like, remember when I said like you have to anticipate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anticipate the moves, man. So I was, I took so many pictures, and that one picture was so iconic. I took it, and I was like, okay, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy, and. Yeah, when you finally got the shot, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm not someone who crops pictures. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, like, you know? But this Metallica, I have to crop it. Mm-hmm. Because otherwise, it's way too far. Right, right. So when I crop it, and I saw, like, oh my god, this is sharp. This picture is sharp. I'm happy. I'm good already. And, and of course, I, I, I took... Few other pictures. Uh, mm-hmm. Kirk Hammett, Kirk Hammett, and Lars was were the best pictures. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and and after that, it was just it was just so fun. And I I documented the whole thing from the from the day from the moment when I got the email confirming my my, my ticket. Mm. And to me, like going into the VIP. Uh, no, the, the, the photographer, the media, yeah. class, going to the security, and, and you were just waiting, like all the photographers and all that, Oof. you were just waiting waiting for the for the staff to call you, and you follow them. It, it's it's a basketball uh, stadium, you know? Okay. So, you follow them, and then you go backstage, and it's like, man, it feels like, it feels like you are the one playing the show, you know? <laughs> And it was just so cool, man. Like, you're backstage, and then you go Damn. up to the top. And then you're just waiting for Metallica to come. And like, like, oh, shit, shit, shit. Like, I've waited for this moment. And finally, I can, I'm seeing Metallica for free. And so I'm like, okay, nice. And yeah, of course, like, after the, after three, three songs, they escorted us out. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can't just, like, chill. This is not like any other concert. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, the place, and I say, all right, please, yeah. um, you, have I, to, you have to leave. And so, so I, I went to the, you know, the, the ticket murah place. Hmm. Right? Because that's where the free ticket they give to the media. Uh-huh. So when I, I still enjoyed the show. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was, it was really good. Yeah, I, I remember when, when I first um, learned about, um, you know, how to be a concert photographer. I remember, yeah, they did mention about, you know, those uh, after three songs, you have to leave, you know. And either that or unless you're, you know, you're connected directly with the band. And then uh, yes. that one is, is a different story. But if you're under a media or under the organizers, it's uh, after three songs, you got to leave. Or, or I said, yeah. either that or you, you know, you got to find your way to take the photo, of, you know, while you're in the crowd as well. Right, right, yeah. right, exactly. But yeah, I mean, I always wanted to, to, to experience that, you know? Because, uh, yeah, even though I shoot, like, you know, small, small gigs and all that, uh, you know, I still have to 
some gigs they you know they did mention to me that like, okay here's the rule they, they said, okay there is still some rules that I need to follow uh, yeah and also one of my my, my most memorable one was when I went to to JB uh, the one that I broke my yeah, lens <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. even though I broke my lens but that was still one of my most memorable uh, like gigs that I should uh, that I should because the crowd, uh, the audience in, in JB that time was so different. There's, so, I don't know, for some reason the the vibe is just different. So it's like, oh. yeah, their their mosh pit. Uh, at that time was uh, the the aggressiveness is just so different. It's like then 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 uh, what I've experienced here in KL. It's like, Damn, that is so cool. But yeah. Uh, overall, yeah, I, I actually, I, I really miss, you know, going to shows and just take photos and all that. Yeah. Uh, it's a good time. But yeah, uh, yeah. man, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Being, sure, being, man. yeah, so, yeah, I just, I just miss, <laughs> overall, I just miss to go, I just miss going shows, that's it, man. <laughs> overall, I just, yeah, I mean, man. oh, definitely, man, definitely, yeah. yeah. Thing, uh, I think it was on, was it on, yeah, early April this year, uh, last month. Wait, is it last month? Oh, it's already, okay, two uh, months yeah. ago. Yeah. Two months ago, technically. Damn, time flies. So, in April, um, uh, Casanovas, he, they had their, uh, like a, like a small show, like, it's a live, mm -hmm. uh, live performance on Facebook. So, there was like, uh, it's just a mini show that was like, 50 uh so they only like limit to 50 people so i went there uh i said actually the the drummer and the bassist was uh sorry the drummer and the guitarist was, were a friend of mine so they said like, man uh I said come over lah you know uh I said okay they actually they just want me to come and see the show but of course like you know i kind of miss shooting for concerts like fuck it i'm bringing my camera to shoot yeah. <laughs> so yeah so i took the show uh so i took uh i took the their photos and everything uh so it's like it turns out great. I said, like, okay, it's good to know that I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> so uh, that it feels so good. Uh, so yeah, and then by end of the day, it's like uh, they told it. You know what, man? Next time when when whenever Casanova have a show, you you come along with us. It's like yeah. oh, okay. So I'm like so called official photographer kind of thing. It's like yeah, man. It's like, okay, because last time we we classmate also the same. Uh, when uh, Elham was like, uh, said whenever we have a show, you, you come and take us. Like, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it, cool. yeah because uh, I ne okay. I never thought that okay, um, you know, I uh, end up a, as a as a concert photographer, but yeah. it feels good, man. <laughs> yeah, it's so good, and, and and most of the time, like for concert photography, I I don't really like ask them to pay me mm -hmm. because last time I was. So I, I'm yeah. just like, oh my god, if I can, if I can shoot these guys that I see on YouTube, it is good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can shoot the video, but you don't hire me, bro. Because, like, when someone pays you money to do it, they expect the job to be well done. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm still new, man. Like, what if I mess up? I don't want to do that. Exactly. I just, okay, like, I just want to build my portfolio and then that's just it. Yeah, even uh, so, yeah, even with when I shoot for classmates, um, uh, and also black and blues at time, uh, I don't expect them to to pay me, you know. But uh, last time, even when uh, doing when I followed them to JB, um, I couldn't follow along with them because that time I have a a, a day job, so uh, said so, uh, I have to go separately from them. So uh, said so, Kemi, uh, said so, it's okay lah. I'll pay for your for your for your transportation, the bus and everything. I'll, I'll pay for you. So okay lah. No, you don't. I said you don't have to pay me. Uh, you know you have to pay me in cash. You know, like if you want to pay me, it's fine. If you, you know, if you want to pay me in some other way, also it's fine. I just want to, you know, have fun with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. For me, being being a photographer, I understand that. You know, because sometimes mm. people be like, hey, it's only really me like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No man, like I, I am a also. So yeah. I know what, what a photographer's work is, yeah. what an artist's work is, you know. Exactly. So I don't usually like want to haggle with um, artists, mm -hmm. unless it's just like, oh, you are a beginner, or like mm -hmm. you, you haven't shot like, like 
crazy big names, but then you are asking a little too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to shake up. <laughs> but this, yeah, but I, I wouldn't like want to make sure that only I am saving as much money, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that is going to give you a portfolio. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind doing it for free for portfolio. Yeah. Like, you are asking for money, I cannot expect you to just walk away with portfolio and expose them. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly, you know. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's same thing lah. Like, you know, so I do. If I'm the one who's offering you a free stuff, then you know that means I'm okay with it. You know, but yeah, yeah you know, at one point it's like um like if like other people till till today, you know, I do have people uh come up to me saying that you know my price is too expensive. But then I said, well, if you see my portfolio, my experience, that's what you're gonna get. You know, yeah, <laughs> but, you know like like exactly. yeah. I mean, uh, it, it's normal, like You know, it's like people come, like you know, they want all the bells and whistles, but they just want to pay like peanuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. That's that's just. I mean, I believe it's not just as photographers. Like even for graphic designers, they also uh, went through the same. Yeah. Man. Artists, not... yeah so. Uh yeah, it, that's why that there's a lot of time where where I rant on on Instagram saying that stop underpaying artists man just just stop man. <laughs> yeah, all right. So overall, again, uh, thank you again, bro, for for doing this. It, it's been fun. Yeah, it's uh, been so much. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, I enjoyed it so much. All right, guys. Uh, that's all we have uh for today. Again, uh, thank you to our. Atma, I leave all his link down below. Go check his band out, Ampang CDK, a very awesome band. So yeah, um, that's all for today. So you guys know what to do. You know, just the usual like, subscribe, and all that jazz. You know, you you guys know what to do. So till next time, guys. See ya.